welcome back. Okay, so welcome to another episode of Kicking It With KK. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, it is time for me to shop my stash. So what I did was I just pulled all of the products that I have been using from my last shop my stash or things I might have thrown in over the last week or two. And I just want to give you a quick little rundown. The items that I'm going to keep in my shop, my stash, continuing and moving forward for this next one. I'm just going to put them over here to the side. Whatever I'm taking out, I'm just going to put it in another container so I can put it away later. And then we'll shop for some new stuff. Okay, so let's just jump right in. I like to start out with my skin items, you know, skincare and oils and serums and whatnot. So I've been using this Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. Been using this for the last few weeks actually, and I really like it. I don't use a lot of it, but I like the way it makes my skin feel. So I wanna keep using this, continuing through this next Shop My Stash. I also started using this Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum that they sent me. I was really surprised to get this and I, I really like it. I don't know if it's working or not, but I like it as a serum in general. So I'm gonna continue to use this. You know, this is one of those things you have to continue to use in order to see if it's going to make any change in your skin. So I'm gonna keep that in. For my moisturizer, I know you guys are sick of seeing this. I've been using this Maman Rose Water Cream for the last few weeks. I love this stuff. It smells good, feels good. You guys know how I feel about this stuff. <laughs> it's bomb, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a break for the upcoming few weeks and I'm gonna switch it out for something else. For primers, I actually picked two primers. I've been using my Tarte Base Tape. This one is the Double Duty Beauty. I love this stuff, you guys. I could use this just constantly over and over again. It makes my skin feel so good. It's so hydrating. I really, really like it. So this stuff is great, but I am going to switch it out. And I also um, chose the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Again, I like this because it's double duty. You know, it's a primer and a moisturizer in one. So it's really easy to use, kind of cut down one of your steps for, you know, your skincare. But I'm going to switch this out as well because I'm going to use some different primers this week. Now, I have in here the Ciate London Everyday Vacay. This is a setting spray I got in my BoxyCharm. I like this stuff. I think it works, you know, well enough as far as being a setting spray. It doesn't do anything that makes me say, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It smells good. It feels good. And it works just fine. But I think I'm going to switch this out as well. I'll use this again at a later date. Now for foundations, I had chosen my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. This was a new foundation for me. And I found that I actually kept it through two of my Shop My Stashes because I really like this stuff. I noticed though that it is very hydrating, <laughs> very, very dewy. So on days when I don't want to look super duper dewy, it can be a little bit annoying because it is very hydrating, moisturizing, dewy, not matte at all. So, you know, it works out okay when I set it with powder, but yeah, this is definitely for someone who likes a dewy look. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this out, but it is a very, very good foundation. Very nice coverage. I also picked the NYX Total Control Drops. I like this foundation. Every time I use it, I'm like, you know what? This is a good foundation. I need to use it more. The coverage is amazing. But the only thing with these drops is I have to use a lot of drops <laughs> for my face. Um, I don't know. I just do. Just the couple of drops that they suggest is not enough for me. But I really like this foundation. Very good. Nice coverage. And I like this color on me as well. What color do I have? This one is cappuccino. So I use cappuccino just in case you're curious, but I'm switching that one out as well. Now, over the last few days, I did grab my Uma Say What foundation just because I wanted to try something different after I got tired of the um, ColourPop one. And so I grabbed my Uma foundation. I love <laughs> this foundation, okay? I will say though that my girl had 
a not so pleasant experience with customer service with Uma Beauty. So it kind of leaves a nasty taste in my mouth whenever I use their products. But you guys know I spent my money on them, so honey, I'm going to use them. But yeah, I went ahead and grabbed this one. This one is brown sugar, uh, looks like T1N, I think. Um, and I like this color on me. I like the coverage. I like everything about this foundation, <laughs> I do. Except for the fact that it's super duper watery. This foundation is really watery. So if you don't like having to deal with a really runny foundation, it might bother you. But if you just kind of like put it on a little palette or something or, you know, a little plate or container and dip your uh, brush in it, then it's not too bad. But yeah, I like everything about this foundation except for the fact that it's super watery. Uh, am I going to keep this? I think I'm going to keep this actually for the next couple of weeks to use. But I will be picking another foundation also. For concealers, I have my Juvia's Place. You guys know this is my favorite shade 11. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> and then I tried out this Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. This one is in the shade Deep Warm. And I actually like this concealer. It's not bad. It's really hard for me to find a concealer where I feel like the coverage is as good as my Juvia's Place because it's just not even if it's really good coverage, it's just not as good as my Juvia's. So I like this, but I am going to go ahead and switch it out for something else. Now for mascaras, I have here the Super Curl Volume Mascara from Essence. I have been using this. I've really been focusing mascara for my lower lashes because when I wear lashes on my upper, you know, falsies on my upper lashes, I don't really put on mascara up there anymore because like I don't what's the point <laughs> so I've been using this on my lower lashes and it's been working out pretty well I think the applicator is like that hard plastic it's a little bit curved so it it's kind of mm, I don't know I guess the jury is still out it's worked just fine I haven't had any issues with it making a mess on my lower lashes um so I'm gonna keep this because I just want to use it for a little while longer and see if I have any additional thoughts on it but it's been working just fine quite honestly this here is the Maybelline lash discovery mini brush mascara now this one definitely super duper tiny for the um, for the lower lash line super duper tiny and it works great for that so you know both of these have been doing me just fine for my lower lashes if I decide to pull something for my upper lashes then I will do that probably at a later date but I'll just keep those for now I threw this in because I received this pure eyebrow pencil and it's the on point eyeliner down to earth eyebrow pencil and they gave me this for free when I ordered Christie's palette I don't know if it was because you know all the hassle everybody had to go through to get it but I was like, you know what? They sent me this pencil. I'm going to go ahead and try it out. And it's really weird, though, because there's a sharpener in the cap. And so every time you put the cap on and twist it to close it shut, it's like you're sharpening it. So it's like it's a good thing, but it's also kind of annoying because, you know, it just kind of sharpens it weird. <laughs> it gives it like a weird shape every time you close it and reopen it. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I don't stress out over my brows that much. This one, what color is this? Yeah, I think that's the color, Down to Earth. I actually really like this pencil. <laughs> I really do. Aside from the strange sharpening feature inside, I like how it has been doing my brows. I really do. So I'm going to keep using this until I get sick of it because I really like it. Okay, moving on to some powders. Let me grab some of these powders out of here. I think almost everything I'm going to switch out. Almost, but maybe not. Okay, so for my under eye and highlighting areas, I've been using my Becca Hydra Mist Powder. If you watch me for any long period of time, you guys know this is my absolute favorite, but because of the fact that it does lose its hydra mistiness <laughs> over time mine is kind of like you know dried out a bit it doesn't have that hydra mist effect when i use it but it's still a really really good powder even though 
it doesn't work the same. So I'm gonna keep using this because you know it's just gonna get less and less hydro misty if I don't. <laughs> this Aqua Assurance, I grabbed this one. This one is in the shade Espresso, a little bit darker than the first one that I had grabbed um, because I wanted to try out one that was a little bit darker and it worked out just fine for me. These Aqua Assurance, um, what is it called? It's called the Compact Foundation from JCAT. They're really nice, you guys. Very affordable, and they are really, really great powders. I use it to set my face, not just as a foundation, so it works great for me um, for that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and switch this out so I can use something new this week. I have a couple of bronzers here that I've been using. This one from Prime Beauty. Oh my gosh, this one is the bronzer in the shade Brownsville. <laughs> and it doesn't look that deep on the camera right now, but it's actually a really, really good color for me. It really is. It bronzes me a real nice, okay. Been using it in a, a few videos, so you guys have seen it on me. But yeah, it is, a really nice bronzer so I'm gonna put this back I also have here one of my lip bar fresh glow bronzer and blush duos this one is in double date this one I probably have told you guys you really need to use a light hand with this stuff <laughs> but it's a great bronzer it works amazing and then the blush in here so so pretty I don't think I even use the blush to be honest with you I don't really gravitate to shimmery type blushes, but I do use them on occasion. And this one is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to put this back so I can pull something new. Now, y'all, I pulled way too many blushes and highlighters <laughs> last time. I know I have issues with pulling too much because I just like to have options. But um, I pulled this one from Nomad Cosm Cosmetics. This was part of their uh, new Studio 54 highlighters. And oh, so pretty. But you know what? What I realized with this is I really like using this as like a topper highlighter. So I'll use a more silky highlighter and then put this on top to make it pop. Really, really pretty. I like using it like that. But I'm going to put this one away. I also picked this Tasty Apple Highlighter from I Heart Revolution. Yeah, this highlighter is bae. <laughs> Absolute bae, okay? Um, it's just, it's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I don't want to put it away, but I know I have a few more highlighters that I want to use and try out. <laughs> I ain't putting it away, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this away. But I'm definitely going to be grabbing it again real soon. And I also pulled this Catrice Sungasm highlighter. This highlighter is gorgeous. But the thing with this highlighter, although it's gorgeous, it's a little bit icier than I like. It's very, very pretty, but it is a little bit icy for my liking. So I'm going to put this away. Maybe I'll play with it again a little bit later or if I'm looking for something a little more icy. Now for blushes, I did pull this Fenty Cream Blush. This one is Daiquiri Dip. This is the only one that I have. You would think I would remember the name by now. But yeah, I have the Daiquiri Dip. Very, very pretty cream blush. Very, very pretty. This is more of like a spring, summer blush for me. So um, I can probably play with this a little bit more for the next week or so. And then I'll be kind of like trying to move into... Uh, deeper shades so uh, I'm gonna keep this in my my drawer for now I have this Milani spiced rose rose powder blush this blush is so pretty you guys it's just perfect for that everyday blush you can wear this with every single look that you do I mean it's just gorgeous and it has that slight shimmer to it so when you put it on, you can decide if you want to add highlighter or not because it does give you a little bit of a beautiful glow. This blush is really, really pretty. I love it. But I'm going to put her back because I want to try something else. Okay, I also pulled this Sun Kissed blush from Focalore. This one is the shade 04. And it's more of like the peachy, you know, like the peachy color. 
very very pretty kind of orangey peachy shade and it has the highlighter in there as well or shimmery blush whatever you want to call it i didn't even use this i never pulled it so i'm going to keep this in my stash because i do want to keep this to use over the next week or two i also have my alamar cosmetics blush trio in dark rich you guys already know this blush palette is the bomb it is so freaking pigmented so pretty i love the different shade options that are in here um am i gonna keep this no i'm gonna put this back for now i also have here my beauty treats matte blush and contour collection beautiful basic blush colors in here this contour shade i doubt if it would do anything for me but who knows um but yeah i like the variation in here and i didn't use this i never got a chance to use it so i'm gonna keep this in my stash this week and lastly <laughs> you guys know i pulled this morphe 8d palette to play with oh my goodness you guys this palette is bomb <laughs> That's all I have to say. It's just bomb. I um use this this bronzer here, this middle one. I use this highlight and I use this blush over here. Just absolutely gorgeous, you guys. This is a very, very nice palette. And it does have longevity, like staying power throughout the day. This blush, gorgeous highlight bronzer. I really, really like it. Now with this highlighter it is very golden <laughs> so it's definitely meant for deeper skin tones because it is very golden i love the way it looked on me i really did it's, it was different it's different i'm sitting here digging my nail in there now if you're not aware they do have quite a few of these face palettes in different shade ranges you know light medium dark so you know just in case you're like oh that's a little too dark for me they do have other ones and this one i love i love 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 it. it's very very nice so i'm gonna keep this <laughs> keeping it just for now okay you guys so i did go ahead and pick my primers and moisturizers for the upcoming couple of weeks already i want to use this elf jelly pop dew primer this stuff is really really good you guys i love using this and i have some of my best base days for my face when I use this stuff I like it a lot so I'm going to use this primer this week I also grabbed this primer from Nika K this is the 24 karat gold face primer it says hydrate and illuminate <laughs> so of course you can see why I thought it was gorgeous very very pretty it has little gold flecks in there it's not like this is expensive or anything very very affordable I also pulled my Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. Haven't used this in a while. Definitely got this in a subscription box, probably BoxyCharm. And I really like this stuff as well. It smells nice. It feels good. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for a while. For setting spray, I have not used my Morphe Continuous Mist setting spray for a while. I kind of gave it a break and I've been using some other things because at one while this was all I was using. But I have like so many backups of this that I need to start using this stuff again. So we're going to use this this week. Okay, you guys. So I need to pick out another concealer. Even though you guys know I love my Juvia's, I do like to always have another one to play around with. Um, you know what? I'm thinking I want to use... Wait, I know I used this uh, J-Cat Stay Assurance not too long ago, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. Let's see. Ooh, that's nice. Very, very thick. <laughs> very thick not extremely moisturizing it looks like it will dry down nice but that coverage is crazy okay that was easy we're gonna go ahead and play with this this is the j cat stay assurance concealer in the shade sun kissed okay so for blush this week it's actually going to be fairly easy i think because i also got these two nika k blush palettes these are um really really pretty blush palettes that i picked up very very affordable ordered them off the website this one is the bear very berry oh isn't it pretty 
is gorgeous 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 so i'm gonna try that out plus i already have like three blushes <laughs> to use but i also got this red glow palette from nikki k that i want to try out so this is what this one looks like oh isn't it pretty and there's a highlighter in there as well so i'm gonna go ahead and try that out you guys i have so many highlighters that i want to play with this week i just i really don't know what to choose I have this uh, Kiss Pro Touch Glow and Bronze Powder. I've used this before. You guys know it is so gorgeous. And I love it, love it, love it. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. So pretty. So that's a maybe. I have here this Juvia's Place, the Tribe Highlighter Volume 2. I don't even think I've used this. Yeah. I have not used this. I was just thinking um, that I didn't even have any Juvia's highlighters, but I do. That's gorgeous as well. Oh my goodness, look at that. That one is a little bit more icy. So pretty. I have here this Nabla. This is the Skin Glazing in Lucent Jungle. So pretty. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, this one just feels like butter. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I think I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to pick that one. I have this highlighter from Nika K. As you guys can see, I did buy quite a few things from Nika K this week. But this is what this one looks like. And it's called Sandstone. Sandstone. Oh. That one is pretty as well. It looks a little bit more subtle, more mild than the other ones. A little bit more mild. And then I have this here from Iman. This is a um, kind of like a highlighter and blush palette. It is Afterglow. This one is more powdery. Yeah, this one is more powdery. It's pretty. Maybe not as shiny as some of the other ones. The Nabla is gorgeous. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the Nabla. Uh, the Iman. I'm kind of curious as far as how this is going to look on my skin. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the Iman one to play with. This is a Makeup Geek palette. And it has three different things in here blusher <laughs> blusher blush highlight and bronzer and this is what this palette looks like and i tell you guys when i first saw this palette i was like what in the world is that gonna do to my face <laughs> but once i used it on my face i realized that it was it was gonna make me look amazing okay <laughs> but i really like this face palette from makeup geek mine's is a little beat up I don't know the name of it though, but these are the shades that are in here, you know, for each item, but I don't remember the name for this palette, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this this week. Also for bronzer, super duper easy. My girl, Lily, okay. <laughs> Lily just, she spoils us to death, okay. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Bronzer. Oh my gosh this is so bomb do you see how gorgeous this is look at this do you guys see the beauty in this bronzer <laughs> it's so gorgeous so yeah i'm definitely going to be using this over the next couple of weeks and lastly for bronzer i wanted to choose this uma beauty stick this is um, one of their double take sticks number three and it has you know like a contour bronzer type shade you know it's a cream stick on one end and this stuff is seriously potent you guys you don't need a lot of this I made the mistake of using <laughs> way too much of this the first time I used it and it was like you know I was able to blend it out but it was a lot but this stuff is really really nice it also has this like highlighting um, strobing stick I don't really care for these just I don't know I don't really do cream it's very pretty as you can see 
but I don't really do cream highlighter. But you know what I might do? I might try using this underneath my powder highlighter. I know a lot of people do that for like an extra pop. So I might try using that in that way. So for powders, I already have my Becca Hydra Mist powder that I showed you guys earlier for my highlighted areas. For setting the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder in the shade Spiced Rum. Uh, this stuff is my absolute favorite. As you can see, <laughs> I have hit pan on this and hit it hard, honey, hit it hard. So I haven't used it in a while, though. I kind of gave it a break, and I miss it because this stuff is a bomb. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this and use this for the next couple of weeks. Now, I typically like to have, you know, at least two or three foundations to use when I do my shop, my stash, <laughs> just because I like to, you know, kind of weed out and see which foundations I really like and which ones are just okay and which ones I can declutter. So along with the Uma Beauty that I'm going to be using, I pulled my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This foundation, I know I love. I love this foundation. It is bomb, okay? It is one of my absolute favorites. I use the shade Cappuccino and I love everything about this foundation. <laughs> I just do. It's one of my ride or dies. Well, I take that back. I don't like the pump. The pump sucks. It gets clogged up and you know, if you're not careful, it will squirt foundation all over you. So you really got to be careful with the pump. But other than that, the foundation is great. And I'm going to pull this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. You know, one of my more expensive pricey makeups that I really don't reach for. You know, because you try to save it for special occasions. But honey, with this quarantine and, you know, my husband, he took me nowhere. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and pull this so I can, you know, see what's happening. I have Sandalwood. 6W1 Sandalwood. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and reacquaint myself with this double wear now you guys know i usually don't pull any lip products but i really need to go through a lip declutter you guys i mean i don't want to do it because it's so crazy tedious to do a lipstick declutter when you have a whole lot of lipsticks so i'm kind of trying to avoid doing it <laughs> but i really need to do a lipstick declutter so i'm gonna start you know pulling some lipsticks and trying to use them force myself to use them just so I can kind of weed out the ones that I don't like or the ones that don't look good on me or aren't any good anymore. These are lipsticks I pulled to force myself to use this week. This is a Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Blissful. Very, very pretty. Let me swatch these for you guys just so you can see. So this is Matte Blissful. This one is one of my Amore US or Amore Us lipsticks. I did a whole um, lip swatch video on these. This one is Sweet Coraline. I love this shade. <laughs> it is so pretty. Do you see that? That shade is so gorgeous and I just, I'm not even wearing it. I'm not even wearing it, it's so pretty. This one is from Colored Rain, Foxy Lady foxy lady i mean you guys probably can tell kind of the type of lipsticks that i really like <laughs> they're all kind of like within the same tone you know but that is foxy lady very pretty this one is one of my color pops i always want to say color bop color pop and this one is in tea time i really like these color pop like luxe lipsticks Ugh. They feel so good, they're so comfortable. So this one here, this last one here, that one is tea time. And I really do gravitate more to bullet lipsticks now. You know, the liquid lipsticks are so drying. This one is one of my Revolution Pro lipsticks. The pack, look at the packaging, it's so pretty. Uh, what is this, Vamped? It looks like Vamped. If that's wrong, I'll put it on the screen. But this one is a little bit darker. So we're getting a little bit deeper there. This one is another color bop. <laughs> color pop is called, come on, sis. I think this one is from the Shayla collection. Didn't she have, come on, sis, in her collection, if I remember? I don't know. But that one is that shade there, come on, sis. This last one. 
This is from Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Miami Fever. Pretty sure I got this in a subscription box because I do not uh, purchase Ofra lipsticks, but look at that color. And it's a liquid lipstick too. This is a Stila, and this one is Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rubino. Ooh, that is really pigmented. <laughs> that one looks very, very similar to, was that the Revolution? Yeah, it looks very similar to the Revolution color. Yo, but the Stila is, you know, it's a liquid. So, yeah, and this is the Creamy Bullet from Revolution. Definitely more affordable, of course, but they look very, very close. So, obviously, I don't need both of those in here. <laughs> if I kept one, it would be the Revolution because I prefer bullet lipsticks. And lastly, I have Juvia's Place Afrique Matte. Is that the color? Afrique. I'll be a freakazoid. Come on and wind me up. So yeah, that's like a classic red, kind of like an orange toned red. Okay, so those are all the lipsticks that I have pulled to try and force myself to wear over the next couple of weeks. If I'm not wearing one of these, I'll probably have on a lip liner and a gloss. Okay, and lastly, I want to quickly run through some eyeshadows that I want to play around with this week. And you know, I might get to them, I might not over the next few weeks. You guys know how I am. I change my mind every day. <laughs> so, but these are palettes that I pulled that I really do want to try and use. This one is the Artist Couture. And this is the Midnight Maven, I believe. It's called Midnight Maven. This was a gift from my girl, Lily, And it is absolutely gorgeous. Next, I have here another gift. This was actually a birthday gift from my girl, DJ. I already showed this <laughs> in one of my videos, but I haven't used it yet and I need to force myself to use it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Another palette that I just picked up not too long ago. This is a Girl Scout palette from Cara Beauty. Oh, look at this. I swatched a few of these shades, I think mainly like the shimmers in my kind of like beauty chat video. I'm not sure which one of these videos will be up before that but this palette is gorgeous you guys so i definitely want to use this i also picked this um bh cosmetics sweet shop cotton candy palette um i got five of these as you guys probably already know but this is the one that i really want to use for sure for sure i might get around to using like the green one as well but this one i just i gotta use it it's so gorgeous i have to use it this palette I picked up from Amazon. I know you guys are like, girl, why'd you get that? <laughs> but you know what? It is really a very, very nice, earthy, neutral, cool tone, warm tone, smoky eyeshadow palette. And I want to play with it. So I picked this up off of Amazon. It might have been like $9.99 or something. And I swatched it. And honey, the swatches is looking nice. Okay, so... Yeah, I definitely want to use this. I actually want to do a video on this. So I'm hoping to get to this soon. I pulled my Juvia's Place. Is this called Deuce? I don't know how to pronounce that. I always want to say Deuce or Deuce. Dose. I'm just going to call it the Deuce palette. But I pulled the Juvia's Place Deuce palette. I think this is the only Juvia's Place palette that I have in my collection that I have not actually used. Yeah, I went ahead and pulled this just like, I guess I need to challenge myself, honey, because this color story is very weird to me, but I want to use it. So definitely going to uh, take a dive into that. I also pulled my ABH Norvina. This one, which one is this? This is number two. I got these palettes and they're so gorgeous and I don't use them. There's so many colors in here. Beautiful, beautiful shades. You can create so many looks and this one is very heavy on like the blue and green kind of feel a couple of purples in there but yeah i want to play with this i need to because 
I got these palettes and I really need to enjoy them. So I pulled this one, volume two. I also grabbed these loose pigments. These are like neon loose pigments that I picked up from AliExpress. I really want to play with these, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but I want to play with these. These are like extremely pigmented, okay? So whatever eye look I do with these pigments is going to be popping, okay? So I do want to play with these. And lastly, I did grab a couple of my palettes that have um, some of my singles, you know, not all of them, of course, but I went ahead and pulled this one. This is one of my Adept Cosmetics palettes. I love these magnetic palettes, you guys. They are so just nice and sleek and very well constructed. I mean, I'm always so careful with these because I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to damage them at all. But this one has all of my Sydney Grace shadows in here. As you can see with their palettes, they're like double-sided. You can put shadows on both sides and they have a clear divider. So, you know, you can separate your shadows and they won't get mixed up or anything like that. But these are all of my Sydney Grace shadows that I just got during their Christmas in July sale. Ugh. Look at those colors, so pretty. So I wanna play with these, they're so, so gorgeous. I have never used any Sydney Gray shadows, so this is going to be a first for me as far as playing around with some shadows from Sydney Grace. And lastly, I have here my collection of singles from NBA Cosmetics. I mean, really, really pretty. These are my brighter, more colorful ones over here. And these are the more kind of like earthy tones over here. But I want to play in these as well. They have, just looking at them, for me, it looks like a different type of formula. But I'm not sure. So I did pull these so I can play with these as well. Very, very pretty. So that's it, you guys, for this week's Shop My Stash. Hopefully you had a good time hanging out with me while I talked about the previous products I used as well as chose new beautiful makeups to play with over the next couple of weeks. Um, so that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you on the next video.